In 2023, SpaceX plans to launch TurkSat 6A, Turkey's first domestically constructed communication satellite. SpaceX had previously launched the TurkSat 5A satellite in January 2021. Turkey's orbital rights were guaranteed for the next 30 years, covering Europe, the Middle East, vast parts of Africa, and the Mediterranean, Aegean, and the Black Sea regions. Hello everyone and welcome back to Space Tech Zone. In today's video, we'll be talking about plans for SpaceX to launch TurkSat 6A. So make sure to stay till the end of the video, subscribe to our channel, and ring the notification bell to keep up to date with all our videos. Now without further ado, let's dive in. The Turkish government announced on September 17 that TurkSat would launch its first domestically produced communication satellite on a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket. The Ministry of Transport and Infrastructure announced that SpaceX had been awarded a contract to launch TurkSat 6A in the first quarter of 2023. The contract specifics were not made public by the ministry. Minister of Transport and Infrastructure Adil Kares Melolo said that the government looked at several launcher firms before choosing SpaceX, which offers the greatest solutions in terms of both technological, administrative, and budgetary elements. The satellite will be developed and constructed in Italy by specialists led by TopTac Space Technologies Research Institute in collaboration with Turkish Aerospace Industries -E and CTEC Bilisium Technologieri A. According to an agreement signed on December 15, 2014, TAI will be responsible for designing and manufacturing the satellite structure and mission-critical subsystems such as spacecraft temperature control, chemical propulsion, harness, and mechanical ground equipment. TAI and TopTac Uze will collaborate on software development for satellite onboard data handling and satellite command and control. They will work together at TAI Satellite Assembly Integration and Test Facility in Ang Ankara on the assembly, integration, and testing. The Turkish Armed Force will be able to utilize TurkSat 6A's expand satellite communication capacity. The satellite is scheduled to launch in early 2023. It will be in a geosynchronous orbit at 42 degrees east with a life expectancy of at least 15 years on orbit. It will have 16 KU band transponders, 4 reserve transponders, 2 actives, and 1 reserve X band transponder. The KU band transponders will have an uplink bandwidth of 7.3 to 18.1 gigahertz and a download link bandwidth of 11. 0.7 to 12.75 gigahertz. Each KU band transponder will have a minimum power of 140 watts, and each X band transponder will have a minimum of 150 watts. While the X band transponders will solely cover Turkey, the Turks at 6 AKU band transponders will have three covered zones Turkey, West Zone, the British Isle in West, Scandinavian nations in North, North Africa in South, and the Caspian Sea in the East. East Zone, Anatolia in the West, Russian Federation in the North, Saudi Arabia and Pakistan in the South, China National Boundary in the East. The project is expected to cost around $250 million. The Top Tax Space Technologies Research Institute will build TurkSat 6A, the country's first communication satellite. With a payload of KU and X band transponders, the spacecraft will operate from 42 degrees east. Kores Melolu stated that the satellite's assembly will be completed by the end of the year and that the environmental testing will be completed by the end of 2022. This is not the first time SpaceX has launched a Turkish satellite. The TurkSat 5A was launched by the aerospace manufacturer earlier this year. On January 7, 2021, a 230-foot tall Falcon 9 rocket launched the TurkSat 5A satellite into orbit from Space Launch Complex 40 and Cape Canaveral Space Force Station, roughly 45 minutes into a four-hour window. As it took off from the launch pad, the two-stage Falcon 9 lit up the night sky. As the rocket rose into the skies over the Space Coast, the brilliance of the rocket's nine first-stage engines turned night into day. The engine's rumbling could be heard long after the missiles had vanished from view. The mission was the first of the year at the Cape and the rocket's first stage landed on one of SpaceX's two enormous drone ships. Just read the instructions stationed out in the Atlantic Ocean 8.5 minutes after liftoff. The Turks had 5A launch was the fourth for the Falcon 9 first stage. In June 2020, the booster dubbed B1060 launched an improved GPS third satellite for the United States Space Force, followed by launches of SpaceX's Starlink Internet satellites in September and October. The Falcon 9 placed the 7,700-pound TurkSat 5A satellite into orbit about 33 minutes after liftoff. Powered by more than 1.7 million pounds of thrust from its nine first-stage Merlin 1D engines, the spacecraft is expected to provide internet service to Turkey, the Middle East, Europe, and parts of Africa for about 15 years. 
The Turksats are part of an initiative to increase Turkey's space presence, which has sparked debate. Activists began lobbying SpaceX in October to cancel the Turksat 5A launch. They demonstrated outside SpaceX's office in Hawthorne, California, claiming that the mission should not fly due to Turkey's involvement in a dispute between Armenia and Azerbaijan. Their attempt was a failure. The Turksat 5A spacecraft built by Airbus detached from the Falcon's upper stage around 30 minutes after liftoff. The satellite will beam down broadband coverage from its orbital perch more than 22,000 miles above Earth, courtesy of its 42 KU band transponders. It will take approximately four months for the satellite to reach its final altitude. Turksat 5A will travel utilizing its onboard plasma thrusters, which use electrical energy from the spacecraft's solar panels rather than traditional fuel to make the journey. It takes a little longer to reach the orbital parking position since these thrusters are more energy efficient but deliver less thrust. We're delighted to welcome Turksat as a new Eurostar customer for their fleet's most powerful satellites. We were the first to demonstrate full electric propulsion technology for satellites of this size and capacity, and this will allow the Turksat spacecraft to be launched in the most cost-effective way possible. Airbus head of space systems Nicholas Chamusi said in a statement, The Turksat 5B satellite, which will be launched later this year, is slightly larger than its predecessors. According to Airbus, the satellite, which weighs more than 9,000 pounds, will operate both in the KU and the KA bands with a capacity of more than 50 gigabits per second. If everything goes according to plan, the satellite should be operational later this year. The Turksat 5A mission is SpaceX's 50th Falcon 9 relaunch since the company first retrieved a rocket in 2015. To ensure a successful landing, the rocket detached itself from its upper stage and performed a series of orbital dance maneuvers to realign itself. Then it did a sequence of three engine burns to slow down sufficiently to softly land on the deck of Just Read the Instructions, which was its intended landing site. SpaceX uses two huge drone ships, which is entitled Of Course I Still Love You, to facilitate reuse. Before launches from the Space Coast, the floating platforms are stationed in the Atlantic and after a successful catch, they return to Port Canaveral with the booster in tow. SpaceX has been able to launch and land more rockets thanks to these two vessels. After a busy year last year, Of Course I Still Love You is still now getting some TLC. Of Course I Still Love You has caught 40 returning rockets in all, with 13 of them landing in 2020. With SpaceX's hectic schedule this year, the ship will soon be back on duty, ready to catch many more rockets at the start of 2020. Just read the instructions underwent its own improvements and renovations. The Falcon 9's current model debuted in 2018. Block 5 has 1.7 million pounds of first-stage thrust and certain additional modifications that allow it to be reused quickly. Each of these first-stage rockets, according to SpaceX, may fly up to 10 times with minor refurbishments in between and perhaps 100 times before retiring. SpaceX has only launched and landed the same rocket seven times so far. We have yet to witness one fly ten times, but it is possible that this year will be the year. Elon Musk, the company's founder and CEO, has stated that he wants his rockets to assist people in getting to space, and the Block 5 Falcon 9 was designed to do just that. Smaller countries and groups have reached space thanks to the launcher's capabilities, which have included specialized missions and rideshares. Turkey has become the latest country to take advantage of this possibility with this flight. Bangladesh launched its first communication satellite into space on a SpaceX rocket a little more than two years ago. South Korea launched its first dedicated military satellite from Florida's space coast in July 2020. Israel launched a spacecraft to the moon as part of a rideshare mission in 2018. These are just a few of the many countries and entities that are aiming for the stars due to the lower launch costs. SpaceX will launch Turksat 6A, the third Turksat satellite. Turksat 5A was launched in January by a Falcon 9, while Turksat 5B is set to debut in the fourth quarter of 2021. Airbus Defense and Space manufactured both the Turksat 5A and 5B satellites. This is SpaceX's second contract from a regional GEO satellite operator in as many weeks. Yasat chose SpaceX on September 8 to launch the Turaya 4NGS satellite in the second half of 2023 on a Falcon 9. With that, we've come to the end. Let us know your thoughts and views in the comment section below. Make sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content. Until next time.